men and three women. Here comes Zine Alabdine Amrug. 21 years of age, part of a full-strength Moroccan boxing squad. Eight men, five women, representing the North African nation. We've got judges from Sri Lanka, Uzbekistan, Great Britain, China and Indonesia presiding over this one. The referee is from Mongolia. So we're underway then. 69 kilogram welterweight action. The boxer wearing red is Albert Mengwe Ayisi. 20 years of age representing Cameroon, but the boxer is wearing blue who has started very quickly indeed. Zine Alabdini Amrug, 21 years of age from Morocco, and he is, even though he's on the back foot, his punch picking is unerringly accurate to begin this contest. Been a fantastic start right from the first belt. Sharp, accurate shots. Looking to counter with that one two, but was just short of the mark after he made a Yeezy miss. A Yeezy does look game and physically strong. And he looks like the type of fellow that's not going to let Amrug dictate the play. Beautiful left jab preceding that right hand which was off the mark. And a nice left jab landed by Yisi after a feint was profit by Amrug. Good counter punch in there from Amrug. All trade off, Ronald. Indeed, right hand Ayisi success. Maybe came off the better yes. there. <laughs> you mentioned he's strong looking. Yeah. He really is. is. Very physical looking lad for 69 kilograms. And he landed a cracking right hook, but how about that for a left right combination from Amrug? But Ayisi really looking to get some leverage on his shots by planting his feet into the canvas. Oh, oh what a right hand! Oh, it's and it hot. sends Amrug down to the canvas. A pile driving right hand by Albert Mengwe, you say. Brings about a knockdown in this opening round. Well, I told you he looks strong. Oh, oh a left, left hook. hook. Right on the button. Amrug showing his experience by tucking up tightly. But I wonder how badly stunned has he been by those big punches. Oh, he, comes he comes back, back with a left hook of his own. Fantastic stuff. Well, there was, I had a feeling about Ayisi. He looked physically strong and dangerous. And it proved to be right. But then he just talk, took a right hand from Amrug there and both of these men have been tagged with big shots it is Amrug who took a trip oh. to the canvas as he takes another cracking right hand from Ayisi wearing red I think Ayisi showed the better chin and the better power though Ronald tactically and technically Amrug might be the better boxer but Ayisi certainly is the more powerful puncher and he had maybe has the best chin Closing seconds of what has been an incident-filled opening round as Amru gets on the front foot and puts Ayisi wow. on unsteady legs to end the first three minutes. What a back-and-forth round, a round where this man took a trip to the canvas after being tagged with a cracking right hand. Beautiful shot, Ronald. He never, it was so accurate as well. And I just had a feeling that this fellow was dangerous. And I said it earlier, and he just looked like he was going to detonate something. Physically very, very strong. Didn't particularly set the shot up well. I wouldn't say it was a lucky punch, but at the same time, the pressure that he exerted on his opponent was just tremendous. Finishing with that really accurate right hand. There it is. <laughs> Whoa. Now we have to remind you that in Olympic style boxing, a trip to the canvas won't necessarily result in a 10 8 round. And it's Ayisi who has taken it for three judges, 10-9, for 
two judges favouring the work of Amruk for Morocco. That's how can close see the why. round was. Yep, you can see why, Ronald. Te technically and tactically, definitely the better boxer. Someone's mouth guard is out. So you see with a little bit of a problem with that mouthpiece. Now remember, after just two instant instances of it being dislodged on the opening day of competition, we saw a boxer get points deducted. And there you see the Mongolian referee just reminding Ayisi of his responsibility to keep the gum shield firmly in place. Well, both of these men are yep. launching big backhands oh, in this second wow. round. Well, who will take confidence from that first round? Because they both had a good first round. The only difference that we've seen was the fact that Ayisi landed that massive right hand. And over went Amrug, although he was landing his fair share of bombs himself. Ayisi's chin a little bit high. And his well, left hand is low, that's a yeah. dangerous combination. He's exerting a lot of energy just now as well, which I really do feel is unnecessary. He wants to try and save it. And he's been back towards the confined position of the corner. Oh, he takes, he takes a takes big a right, right hand. hand as he gets back to the space of centre ring. He bangs his gloves together and almost says, let's go, Tamrog. I think Aisi would prefer that this fight turned into a trade-off because of his punching power. Oh, nice comeback there. And look at the way Amrug is getting his hands in position using the Philly Shell shoulder roll defence there. Yeah. It's oh, dangerous to have the left hand very low. Very nice, but he's, very nice. His defence has really tightened up after being oh. tagged with that big right hand in the opening round. Well, it has to be. He can't leave himself in positions like this anymore. And it's Amrug who is asserting himself in more eye-catching fashion for my money in this yep. second round so far, just beyond the midpoint. But at this type of territory, you see very dangerous. His punches are becoming a little bit wide and, and looping out. He's not getting the same amount of weight on the shot that he was earlier. He has to shorten those up a little bit, Ronald. Fought at a pretty frantic pace as well. So Classic Olympic-style boxing. A minute to go in the second round. Amru coming forward behind a high-held guard. Oh. Ayisi lands a good right hand and another one during the course of that exchange. But it's Amru who is looking to force and quicken the tempo here. Ayisi being forced to operate on the perimeter of the boxing ring. That was an illegal blow from Amru. But I suppose it came about because Ayisi was bending over low at the waist. Yep. Oh, there was a little bit of a clash of heads there. I think there might be a little mouse on Amrog's. Left side, just above his eye. Good right hand landed by Yeast. The loop wide left, left which hook. followed, yep. wasn't too far away. So closing seconds of the second round. A Yeasty off the oh, mark. Good what shot. a right uppercut landed on the inside by Amru. Comes back with a left hook. Amru now looks like he's used to the power of Ayisi. He's a, used to his power now and he's willing to trade. And a three shot combination. Saw Amru get the better of that exchange in the closing stages. A terrific second round. Remember, the first round was scored 3-2 in favour of the man in the red corner. But it's a terrific response by Ziniel Abdin Amru in round number two. How will the judges see it as we take a look at some of the action? Yeah, well, I think they'll score that round certainly for Amru. He definitely landed the cleaner shots, the more accurate punches, the better place punches. Ayisi's shots were wild and flailing at times. And Amru grew in confidence as well as that round went on to the point where he was willing to stand and trade with a guy that had basically dropped him the round previous. Let's take, let's take a look at the scores. So, two judges again going for Amru. Three, the same three, going for Ayisi. My goodness! So the three judges who scored the first round for this man clearly prefer his style of work. I feel Amrug can consider himself a little bit unfortunate there, the way he responded in round two. He's trailing three judges to two after two completed rounds. He's been 10-9 across the board all the way. And we should be in for an absolute barnstormer of a third round because the contest is up for grabs. Oh. Good right hand landed by Ayisi. Well, you can get in touch from wherever you're watching. Hashtag boxing. Give us your thoughts on this cracking contest in the 69 kilogram oh, welterweight division. Huge shot. What a right a hand by Ayisi, and it brings about a standing count. 
Um, that Ella. mouse is growing on the side of his head as well. That really does change things a little bit. Although Amru didn't look visibly <laughs> shaken. But he's been shaken up by oh, these arcing punches at mid-range. Ayisi has tightened up his shots here in the third round and is having success. Amrug wild and off the mark with his attempted one-two. And what a fantastic response by Ayisi, despite the scores, because he was put under pressure in the second round and he's come out blazing in round number three with accurate heavy shots. Just fantastic. It's just exactly what he needed to do. And Amrug's confidence and the ability to take Ayisi's power has certainly worked against them here. So a Yisi with that right hand cocked, looking to detonate it once again. Beyond the midpoint of the third and final round. Yep, he certainly will, Ronald. He'll be looking to land that huge shot again, just to secure matters. But Amrug still pushes things. A Yisi will remain dangerous all the way through, I really feel. Oh, that's another big shot. Both these guys are detonating some huge shots in there. Yeezy looking to drive his man backwards. Amrug looking to hold his ground. Shots exploding around the high-held gloves with which he was bracketing his head. Inside the final minute, both men will be feeling the pace of this contest. They have given and taken plenty. Frantic pace. Absolutely frantic pace here. Amrug waving his man on as he pours forwards, oh. looking to pin Ayisi to the ropes. Another Ayisi double right. Still swinging away close to the ropes. He eats a stiff left jab. Amrug's range deserting him now as he didn't carry his feet with him on that attempted one two. Nice counter right hand landed by Ayisi. And oh. another jolting right hand tilts the head of Amrug to the side. And Ayisi skips out of danger there just to make sure that he'd done enough. Oh, he's growing in confidence as well. Well, Something we've not seen from him, Ronald. We've Am seen nothing but aggression and pressure, really, haven't we? Amrug waving his man back in once again. And Fantastic you have to say bout. that given the way the first two rounds have been yep. scored, it is probably Ayisi who is going to emerge as the bell victor here. Bell is going to go any second yet. There's the final bell, barely audible in the atmosphere here at the Dakar Arena. They appear to be confident over in that blue corner. But given the way rounds one and two were scored and the response that this man produced in the third round, it would be something of a surprise if it isn't his hand that is raised as the victor. And look at the body language in that red corner. The yeah, coach yeah, absolutely the coach, delighted. Yep, yeah, yeah, he looked absolutely elated there. They certainly think that they have the winner here, Ronald. Sorry to all the listeners if we got a little bit excited and we're shouting over each other. But it was super exciting. What a fantastic bout. So it's likely to be a split decision, but which Ladies way is it going to go? Here's the vote. Unanimous decision. The winner in the red corner from And it's Ayisi. Oh. Albert Mengwe Ayisi. Declared a unanimous points decision winner. So he must have had a massive second round, <laughs> excuse me, massive final round, and he is absolutely ecstatic. The man from Cameroon. It's a war cry there. And he goes through to the second preliminary round in the 69.